Okay, so for CEP 811 this week, I was asked to use my Makey Makey kit, and this is my Makey Makey board right here. Um, I did add some pictures above in my blog so you can get a closer um, view of what that looks like. I have my alligator clips, clips and assortment of colors connected to my board. As you can see, I have this red clip here connected to my earth portion of the board, which in which I need to hold in order to stay grounded. Um, so I created a story problem, and this is how I thought I would integrate it into my classroom. I created a story problem, and it says students fill 42 jelly beans into bowls. Each bowl holds eight jelly beans. How many bowls could can you fill? And I have four different choices here, and B is, I'm sorry, A is the correct answer, which is five bowls. Now what I did is I went to scratch.com, and it's a website that contains interactive whiteboards, and it has a ton of projects for Makey Makey kits. And what I did was I programmed, um, in which another video and uh, photos I will show you closer. However, I created it so I used um, four metal um, measuring cups here. And as you can see, each of the measuring cups have a letter on them, A, B, C, and D. And luckily at school, our science kits actually came with um, measuring cups, so metal ones. So there's enough for my classroom of 14 students. So they could get into groups of three and their goal is they want to answer the multiple choice question correctly. So what they would do is they would each have their kits here. Each of my alligator clips are connected to the um, measuring cups. Now the catch here is whichever group gets a question correctly first wins. Now I programmed um, uh, three of my voices that are telling, you know, good job, nice try, try again. And one of the recordings on scratch.com, again, which I'll show you a closer look later, um, has a clapping noise. So I recorded my own clapping, meaning the answer is correct. So like I said, A happened to be the correct choice. So whichever group, and they would each have their computers in front of them. So whichever group I could hear the clapping sound first obviously wins. So again, they would have to have their ground piece, their earth piece in their hand like this. And they would tap A, for example. I'm going to make sure my volume's turned up on the computer and your scratch screen has to be open. And as you can see, there are clapping noises. If they were to touch this B. This answer is incorrect. Oops. Try again. If they were to touch B. Nope. Try again. C. Keep trying. And D. This answer is incorrect. Try again. So as you can see, you can hear my voice telling them that this answer is incorrect. So again, A is the correct answer in this case. So they could tap A and they would hear clapping. Now, obviously, I would want them to show their work and whatnot. This answer is incorrect. So as you can Try see, again. My computer is okay. My computer was going a little crazy there for a minute. But um, as you can see, this is all you really need. You could use any everyday objects, such as fruit, such as bananas. Um, so I encourage you guys to try this in your classrooms with your students. It's a lot of fun, and just having them touching anything that's not a, a keyboard is it's pretty cool. So.